Hi, I'm Mishti Max, and I'm here to share this violent violet lip art with some lovely purple shades and many spikes to boot. I got these particular spikes from the Born Pretty Store website, but you can find spikes on eBay in various sizes and colors. It's about time I got my spike on again, and silver with purple looks so amazing, I just had to cram these things together on my lips. I go through each step of the lavender gradient lip, which is a fine look in itself, but that's not what we're here for, are we? So let's get down to the dirty stuff. First I primed my lips with MAC Prep and Prime Lip Base, and I got my boogie on. I took out the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Purple Rain to outline my lips, give them a bit of shape and just for a guide. Then I bought the Colored Rain Lipstick in VVS Lip Sync out to play. It's a delightful grey toned lavender shade and I applied it only to the center of my lips, going over until I get the desired payoff from the matte lipstick. I pressed my lips together to blend the edges and when I had enough of that on, I went on to Melt Cosmetics lipstick in By Starlight, which is a much darker and richer purple lipstick. I applied that directly from the bullet over the perimeter of the lips, using the lip liner as a guide for my shape, but perfecting the edges with a lip brush and refining the framework, giving more sharpness to the cupid's bow, which will match the 3D designs coming. This lipstick isn't the easiest to work with, but it is a beautiful color. I went back in with the bullet to achieve maximum opacity, and to get the gradient going, I took out the Violet VVS Lip Sync lipstick again, bringing it up to the edge of the dark purple and rubbing the tip along the separation line. So I don't drag any dark purple into the center, I make sure I wipe off the bullet as I go. To darken up and define the outline, I grabbed my MAC lip pencil in rich purple, just running that around the edge and into the corners. This also helps push the lipstick right up to the perimeter if you don't have a lip brush. Now I have the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar in Feathered, and I squeezed out a dot to apply a small amount to the very center of my lips with my fingertip to give a more dramatic gradient. I smushed my lips together to merge the shades for a good blend. Now to extend the gradient, I rubbed the lilac lipstick around the edge, wiping the tip off to remove the darker purple product transfer onto that bullet, and I'm generally bringing back this color into the look and following the shape of my lips at the cupid's bow. I added a touch more white to the very center to brighten it up, and made sure to blend that in with the lilac lipstick. Now for the juicy part. I have Prosade Prosthetic Adhesive, and I'm using a cotton bud to apply small dots of the glue in a V shape on my bottom lip. Then I'm whipping out my 6mm and 3mm spikes that I got from the Born Pretty Store website. And starting with the smaller ones, I'm using tweezers to apply them either side of my bottom lip. Then building up the pattern with some large spikes for the bottom of the upside down triangle and fitting two smaller ones either side of the peak. I'm using my finger to press the spikes into my lips to make sure they're secure. And I have this so far. Back to the glue, I'm adding another row of dots inside the first to apply a violet 2mm rhinestone right in the middle and two 3mm spikes either side. I always wait a little while for the glue to become tacky so the spikes will stick quickly and not slide around or fall off. This glue goes clear very quickly, so keep an eye on where you put it. I decided to continue the design on my upper lip, sticking with the central rhinestone piece and with two smaller spikes flowing up towards the top edge. I liked what I saw, but I wanted to do a few little steps to perfect the gradient with the Melt by Starlight lipstick, fixing the corners, messing with the edge using a brush, and adding even more darkness to the corners before blending with the lilac lipstick. So then I'm done with another satisfying spiked lip art that really hit the spot for me. I really love the angular look to the embellishments, and also finding a new way to display spikes on my lips. I wanted to do another spiky lip, but give it a more contrasting look to my other versions, with a bit of a different edge. I'm happy to have done a purple lip in this style, because it just had to be done, and it's a delightful color to have all spiked up. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this sharp and nasty lip art tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also check out my band and podcast on iTunes. And if you want to send me a letter or something, I have my PO box listed in the description box.